Now, the state of Connecticut might not be thought of as a rowing powerhouse, but one local team is competing for some big-time honors next weekend. Channel 3's Elliot Polikoff takes a look at the journey it's taken for the Riverfront Recapture Rowing Program to get to where it is today. The Connecticut River in Hartford. Views don't get much better than this. Go. But the Riverfront Adult Rowing Program is focused on a bigger prize, a national championship. I think that would be a really great achievement for us, uh, seeing as we're still like relatively new compared to a lot of the other clubs that are out there. Started in 2005, the men's program already won it all just two years ago. So it's safe to say they've got a little bit of a target on their back. It's a sport that um, really kind of uh, rewards you for the amount of work that you put in. You know, it's one thing to show up and be the fittest person at the regatta, uh, but it's another to kind of show up with a boat of eight guys, uh, you know, and having put that work in and, uh, you know, really kind of committed to the training. Rowers come from all different backgrounds. I rowed in high school and then at UConn and naturally progressed here. I signed up for it, kind of not knowing what to expect. Show. They also represent all different age groups. Well, I started in 56 when I went to uh, college. Now 80 years young, Everett Seiler has a slightly different perspective when it comes to being on the water. Mainly we're just trying to keep up with them. I mean, these guys, some of them are 21. It's almost like a Zen experience. You're just in your, in your, in your rhythm. And occasionally you're thinking of when are we gonna stop? But the answer always remains, not anytime soon. The camaraderie is, is just wonderful. The way this group works together, they, they're, they're pretty selfless. They're well organized and they're well run. Sounds like the perfect recipe for a championship winning team. We've been at this since January, you know, working inside until April and then out on the water. So uh, it's, it's a long road and it's, uh, it'd be a great uh, conclusion. To one competition, but win or lose, the fun's just getting started out in Hartford. Elliot Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports.